Styling might be a subjective topic, but the Ssangyong brand has a reputation for being somewhat aesthetically challenged. Having said that, there have been some changes at Ssangyong, and if you look at the new Corando, for instance, you'll see a lot of visual and technical promise. The Action Sports only has a facelift to rely on, but it's the package as a whole that's the real surprise. The Action is a 4x4 double cab and as such competes against a long list of well-established contenders, among them the top-selling Toyota Hilux, the new generation Ford Ranger and a host of others. It's a segment that demands equal measures of utility talent and leisure vehicle appeal, but visually the Action appears to place a stronger emphasis on the leisure role. As double cams go, the Action Sports looks a little awkward, like an SUV that's been chopped up to create a bucky. But having said that, the front end is a lot cleaner and more cohesive, and the 18-inch wheels means it's got a sense of visual balance. One could argue that the tidier, more contemporary styling of the facelifted Action is also more generic, but there's no doubt that the overall effect is more appealing, especially considering the typically conservative approach of Bucky buyers. At the same time, the Action retains enough of its personality to stand out from the double cab Bucky crowd. Perhaps more important, however, is what has changed on the mechanical front. The engine under the bonnet of the Action Sport is a 2-litre turbo diesel, but the good news is that both power and torque have been increased. The maximum is now 114 kilowatts and a nice and fat 360 newton meters. Interestingly enough, this has got a 6-speed manual gearbox and the 4x4 system gets a transfer case with low range. The turbo diesel isn't the most refined, but it offers the low-down grunt and associated lugging power Bucky owners demand. There's little point chasing the revs into the red, and short shifting is very much the order of the day. The gearbox ratios are nicely stacked to keep the engine in the torque and power bands, but the engine's overall tractability suggests that five gears might have been sufficient. Off the road, the low-range transfer case allows the Action to crawl over rough terrain with effortless ease. There's more good news inside the cabin. The interior comes as a pleasant surprise. It has plenty of space and a lot of standard features even by passenger car standards. Amongst those, the more surprising ones are things like Bluetooth audio and part distance control for the rear. But most of all, it's the solidity of the execution that really impresses here. Regardless of terrain or road surfaces, the big Sangyong never uttered a rattle or a squeak, and it always felt reassuringly robust. The hard plastic surfaces are prone to scratching and the switchgear and controls could have been laid out more cohesively, but the overall impression is inviting. Access to both front and rear seats is good and there's no shortage of space. The driving position is also good and the big steering wheel offers useful satellite controls for the audio and cruise control systems. Ride quality is reasonable by Bucky standards. The suspension is firm but with enough damping to iron out some of the rougher bits. The ladder frame chassis features a wishbone front suspension combined with a coil spring multi-link rear axle. With plenty of power, a 4x4 drivetrain and low range, the Sangyong is pretty handy in the rough stuff and it certainly has enough traction. But the front ground clearance is only 188 millimeters, and the two-ton curb weight, together with slow steering, means it's not really the most agile vehicle when the going gets tough. The steering is on the vague side, which isn't particularly important in off-road situations, but more feedback would have been welcome during on-road driving. And with a turning circle of 12.4 meters, maneuverability is not one of the Action's strongest suits. The load bay will only cope with cargo weights of up to 380 kilograms, which confirms our impression that the Action is more of a leisure all-terrainer than a 4x4 workhorse. In on-road conditions, the two-ton mass blunts the Sangyong's initial get-up-and-go, but even so, it's competent and comfortable in urban traffic, and even more so during long-distance open-road cruising. Sangyong Action Sport is a good example of why one should not judge a book by its cover. This 2012 model has more power, looks more streamlined and also costs its occupants in comfort. 
It also feels rock solid, which suggests a measure of longevity and reliability. As always, pricing will play an important role when it comes to making a buying decision. Given its comprehensive standard equipment list and the generous output of its 2-litre turbo diesel engine, the Sangyong Action's price tag reflects decent value. Of course, it might take a while for the Sangyong brand to gain the trust of the typically fastidious local market, but given our experience of the Action and the Corando, it's certainly on the right track. The Action's 2-litre turbo diesel engine is willing and able in both torque and power terms, while a manual gearbox and low range add to its all-terrain prowess. A high spec level and solid build quality add to the value proposition, but a large turning circle and limited ground clearance blot the copybook.